Silicon Valley has spent probably billions of dollars learning what psychologists have been doing for the better part of a century, which is to understand basic principles of behavioral modification. Where's my millions of likes? Where's my millions of likes? We're up against an industrial-sized system that is working out clever strategies and techniques to keep us hooked. Why are you watching TikToks at the table? We're having a meaningful conversation! Yeah! The 15-year-olds of today are like a guinea pig generation. The biggest digital disruption is the one that's actually happening in our heads. It is changing our expectations. It's changing our relationships. Trying to date or talk to anybody in this generation or world today is honestly worse than wearing a fucking wet sock. We might have a really big societal and health challenge. You do not know real anxiety until you overthink about how you're going to stay here when they call your name during attendance. The bar has continued to be raised for Gen Z. You can see the rise of perfectionism. It's in young women where there's a true population increase in anxiety, depression. No, I never said that I want to die. I'm just not particularly fond of being alive. If you actually look at Gen Z, and stop treating Gen Z like they're just a bunch of screen-addicted, emotionally crippled waifs. You can see that they're incredibly engaged with the world around them, and, and indeed, they have to be, because we've handed them this world, this absolute mess. Dude, you're expecting us to hope our way out of fascism? I think we are in really deep, deep trouble. The way that society is going, the trajectory that we're on, what the system is incentivizing is just the application of technology to exploit people for profits. Millennials may have invented social media, but Gen Z is the one who weaponized it.